everyone welcome back to the channel this video is going to be a bit different i'm sharing one of my sketchbook studies i've been meaning to do one of these for a while just to change it up from the longer videos that i make so these will focus on just random value studies and other doodles that i make on my sketchbooks for this first sketchbook session we're going to do a value study of a duck I know it's not the most exciting subject matter, but I still think it's worth exploring. I actually saw this duck during my trip to Japan uh, early this year. It was swimming along on a lake in a park and I just thought it was the cutest. I didn't have time to draw it on the spot even though I wanted to because it was just too cold for me. So I'm glad I actually took a lot of video and photos that I can use to do these studies. I'll show you a little bit of my trip to Japan right now. So that was just a little snippet of my trip to Japan last March. I actually went to Fukuoka. You can watch the full video uh, on my other channel. I put up a link on the video description as well if you want to go ahead and check it out. Now let's talk a little bit about the importance of a value study. Value studies are essentially crucial, especially if you want to improve your artworks or paintings. I used to neglect this part of the basics when I was starting out, but as I advanced through doing more art, I realized how important it was to be able to recognize values in an artwork or a painting. Values are what gives a painting or an artwork believability as well as depth, especially if you are aiming to create realistic uh, type of artworks. Your paintings or illustrations won't look realistic or believable at all if you don't have proper values in them. Of course, there are exceptions to that. I mean, there are certain art styles that won't uh, emphasize or require specific value systems in order for them to be able to communicate what they want to showcase. But that's more of an exception to the rule. So it's still, if you're a beginner artist and you want to have a good foundation, I would always suggest that you go and take your time to study values and to learn how to apply them to your artwork or to even just learn how to see them or distinguish them so that way you can translate it into your artworks or paintings now let's talk a little bit about this study for this one i used a simple black knicker poster color and then I just to get the values I just diluted it with water 
I limited the value range to about three or four from uh, darkest to lightest. You can see me here putting on the blacks, the darkest shades uh, on the duck. And from what I can see in the photo or the reference image, you can see just by adding the darks, you can immediately see the form of the subject. I continue to add the darks underneath the duck because this is an area where there's hardly any lights. With value studies like this, if you're going to do one, your goal is to simplify. Even if you may see other values in between, try and keep the value range simple. That way you don't overwhelm yourself, especially when you're new to studying or creating value studies like this. Here you see me adding the little ripples on the water. This helps to sell the look of the water and you also see me go back and forth when it comes to the values. I go from the darks to the midtones, and then towards the end you will see me adding a very very diluted uh, shade of grey to help cover up the entire page. Here we have the finished study. Thank you so much for joining me on this little sketchbook session. Please let me know if you made it this far. Please let me know if you prefer this with voiceover or if you just want like a chill music on the background. I can do that too. And yeah, just leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.